All right, you realize that you were holding your breath. And now what we need to do is have the tough conversation of how do we get sustainable so that you can settle into this for the long haul. Let's make sure that you're not just burning, but you're actually really starting to earn. My name is Leo, I'm a business coach. I've had this conversation countless times. And what I will do here and now is share with you a couple techniques that you can use to make sure that you have what you need and that you can really make this a success long-term instead of stressfully just hoping that something happens that changes the game. Because quite bluntly, that's gonna happen right here and now by you changing the way that you play that game. Let's jump in. All right, so you've already calculated your burn rate, how much cash you need regularly. You've gone through your health and well being checklist of making sure that you have the things that a human being needs in order to be healthy, happy, productive. Now it's a matter of doing the math. And this is what's really, really important because if you take shortcuts here, it may take years to unravel. So I'm not saying this to stress you out, I'm just telling you the way that it really is. And the shortcut, first and foremost, that I want you to avoid is saying, all right, let me just do whatever I need in order to get the bills paid and then I will consider things thereafter. This is where you have to balance the short-term and the long-term consideration. And the way that this often manifests if people forget the long-term is they say, all right, I have this much capacity. I can work this many hours. So let me just take the amount of money that I need and divide it and roughly that's much how much I need to charge by the hour. Then they work, 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 they network, they sell it. They usually underprice themselves, they get full. And then yes, ends are met. That's great, but they're fully booked here just keeping the bills paid. That's not a good long-term situation. So this is a very dramatic exercise. So I, I want you to keep in mind that this ratio will be different for everybody, but start with this and then go from there. Try cutting that in half. And by cutting that in half, I mean, how can you make sure that the ends are met by you working half of your capacity? It may seem like a dramatic change, but the thing is, is if you're not doing work that's worth having half of your time cover your capacity, you're probably not doing something that's valuable enough towards your end goals. And I don't mean to be critical. I don't mean to say that what you're doing isn't valuable, but there are tweaks and changes that you can make. For example, you can do one to many instead of just working with one person at a time, work with more people at a time. There's adding a zero, which is another video that we'll link, which is making sure that instead of just working on this, you're working on something that's worth 10 times as much to somebody who's happy to pay 10 times as much because it's a different situation. So I know this is vague, but we're talking to a lot of different kinds of business models here. This is your job to figure out how you do those things. So make sure that you can be sustainable by working half, sometimes less, sometimes more of that capacity, and then the rest of your time can be spent focused on the long term. So do the math. How can you make ends meet? By working a fraction of that capacity, by doing something that's high value. And in future videos, you'll see, we're going to talk about ways to really calibrate that value to make sure that you're in front of the right people as fast as possible so that you can then settle in to the long term. My name is Leo. I'm a business coach. If you want some analysis on how you can both figure out what percent of your capacity should be spent towards making ends meet so that you can focus on the long term and ways that you can really provide maximum value for people that are both accessible and either adding a zero or one to many or a different business model that allows you to multiply that value, I'm happy to sit down with you. I give away diagnostic sessions. So check the description to apply for one and get what you need to succeed. I'm glad you're here. Let's keep going.